Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we have two insane announcements. The first one is Webflow AI, which is going to change the way web design works completely. The second one is Microsoft's AI design tool is finally out for you to use. We're going to test out and see some of the features as well. So without further ado, let's just get started with this. So Webflow has announced their AI tool set, which is coming out very soon and was officially announced on LinkedIn, Twitter, etc. They are showcasing three major ways that AI is going to come into Webflow. The first one here is AI being used as a learning tool. Now this learning tool is, is powered by AI in a way where you can literally search for how you can design something, how you can change something, how do you add a certain element or how do you tweak something to make it look a certain way. So whatever questions you have in mind while using Webflow, you can quickly ask this AI helper of sorts. And this AI helper will then give you the relevant links, show you relevant videos on how to change something or how to do something in Webflow. And this can be such a good learning tool. So from now on, based on what design element you've clicked on, the AI will give you certain suggestions. So if you have a button and you want to increase a certain padding on that button, it will show you a recommendation on how to change that as well. Now this next change is going to be the big one. So currently you have to do everything manually, but from now on, you'll have an AI auto designer, which will essentially allow you to change elements based on prompts. So if you have a text, which is in English, you want to convert it into Japanese, Spanish, German, whatever. It will give you an option to do that. It will immediately convert it using AI. Apart from that, you can even customize content. So if you want SEO to be better on your website or content to be more casual on your website, you can ask it to make the text seem more casual. And they say you can actually generate custom code as well using these prompts. So I'm really hoping that something like optimize my website or make my images, things like that will be such a huge leap forward. And this auto designer extends to being a little more magical as well. Here they are demonstrating how writing a prompt on designing a card and this prompt magically adds this card layout with a price and everything that you've already given to it as a prompt. So it's read that prompt and it's designed this card design for you or this card layout for you. These features will literally half the design or development time for your Webflow websites. Another feature that they're bringing is creating custom template using AI prompts. So just like in chat GPT here, you will have to define the type of website you're creating. So if you're creating a website for a gym, you will have to describe what business that is, what gym, what kind of gym it is, what kind of features it's providing, whether you have subscriptions for the gym or not, or if the gym has a certain theme, etc. So based on that, it will create a website for a gym. And the great thing about this is that after that, you'll be able to customize that website to your liking, you know, change things out, put new things in, but it will give you such a strong base to start from. And that is going to double your speed of design. The last announcement that they made was around how long these changes will take or how quickly it will come to the Webflow website. And here they're saying that in a few weeks, they are going to bring some of these features. And in a few months, they'll have all these AI features in your hands, which is incredible. I am super excited. I hope you are as well. Now as a second tool, we are looking at Microsoft's designer. This was announced later. This, this was announced earlier this year. However, it is finally launched. It is here to create 2d, 3d, realistic graphics, etc. for you for, for free, essentially. Now, as you can see, it starts by asking me what I want to create. I want to create a poster for the upcoming UI UX design meetup, which is futuristic in theme. So we've given it a theme as well, just to give it a little more help. And either you can add your own images so that it places it in posters, etc., or you can literally say generate image. Other, other than that, you can generate the whole thing just like that, click generate. And as you can see, immediately it's created some futuristic looking uh, illustrations right here. The first one I love, If you, here as you can see, UI UX design meetup. 
and it has this futuristic UI design kind of a uh, guy clicking on this ui then you have this one another graphic i am super into it's asking you the ones that you really like it's going to start working on them and then you say customize design now it got, gets even more fun and even more expansive in nature if you click on an image right here it has some essential tools on top remove the background which is important you can add multiple effects based on different filters that they've created and apart from that it also has this generate tab under visuals so at any point of time you want to generate an illustration you can so since this ui ux design meetup is in india i will say an illustration of india and i'm going to click on this and it's going to start working its magic as you can see it's created some exceptionally good illustrations right here now it's still using dal e2 which is slowly getting outdated there's a new version of api open api as well so hopefully microsoft designer will start using those new versions as well you can even generate text so if you don't know how to say something or if you want to improve language or describe a ui design meetup and it will generate text for you and also place it in different styles so long body short body network with your designer subheading heading so everything it is created for your graph you can even generate a brand kit so if you're creating a logo or a brand or whatever you can quickly type in something like a design event organizer who is very strong and big <laughs> some weird definition i've given and as you can see it's generated a color palette you can choose one of these you can always go to the next give you suggestions of fonts etc for i i really like this elephant pro so essentially a complete graphic design tool all these fancy looking graphics all by describing it as you would describe to something like chat gpt so you just describe it and design creations will come up i think this is a very good comparator to tools like canva or even figma when it comes to creating graphics figma doesn't really have a lot of ai tools yet so this can be interesting to explore for you guys i hope you like this video i'm sure you're as excited about these ai tools as i am hit the thumbs up if you are liking this video it helps me grow a lot and i will see you every week same time same place until next time take care god bless